Hey everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to do the Bicycle and Friends Dyes assembly video. Hey, so this is the Bicycle and Friends Dye. It's fabulous. And I'm going to be using the Gnome Dyes and the Girl Gnome Dyes with this set eventually at the end. I did assemble those separately, but I just wanted to show that. So first I'm going to assemble the bike. I cut it out of American Crafts black cardstock. It could be any color. I'm just using that as a starting point. And these are, this is from Doodlebug. I use kind of like a darker teal and a lighter teal cardstock from Doodlebug. Um, I'm not sure of the names. I will find them though. And when I use this on a card, I will list it in my, um, you know, on my blog. Or maybe I'll list it under this video. You know what? Look under this video. I'll, pro I'll, I'll look up the names of the colors end of the video. And then I'm going to add the tire. That's American Crafts black cardstock. You'll see that I'm using Nouveau Glue and um, a Studio Katia embellishment wand just to, you know, help assemble and grab onto these little pieces. More Doodlebug cardstock. There we go. I'm adding on the little pieces of the petals. And then this is Smoky Shadow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. It's kind of a darker gray. There we go. So I'm getting there. This is a super cute bike for the gnome to ride. And I'm just getting all the little pieces together. And I will assemble this super cute bike. So, you know, just FYI, I hassled the girls at Jada Blossom to get a bike because I think that would have been so bloody cute with the gnomes and they kind of took it to another level for me it is amazing I love this bike it is so cute there are a few pieces um, but it's relatively straightforward I find for the bike so you know that's why I thought um, you know these assembly videos um, I hopefully hopefully they come into use for you and they help you out. Okay, next I'm going to put together the little basket. I cut that out of Nina Desert Storm for the top layer. And the back layer is act actually Jimin Tindalo wood grain cardstock. It doesn't have to be wood grain cardstock. I just wanted a darker craft and that happened to be a scrap in my bin. So use whatever darker craft you have or even brown. That would work. And then I'm going to add that to the front of my bike. All my die cutting today was done with my Spellbinders um, Mini Empress Machine. You know, just so you know. And I'm working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. There we go. And now, look how darn cute that bike is. So cute. And then, look, you can have your little gnomes riding it. And then you can add her little hands on the handles. There we go. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. I just think that that is the sweetest thing. Isn't she cute? And she will fit on an A2 size card front. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to assemble these little basket fillers. So we have a little basket of tulips. So this is uh, Doodlebug's green cardstock. And I use the same, um, what's it called? Uh, G Min Tindalo wood grain for that back piece. But like I said, any darker craft will work. I just wanted a contrast between the back of the basket and the front of the basket. Now the, this is Doodlebug's dot stripe in the dot, because I wanted to use have yellow tulips. It kind of matched the um, Doodlebug My Happy Place. Um, their little outfits for the gnomes were cut out of My Happy Place from Doodlebug. So I wanted to match the colors. And then I'm going to add on this basket to the front of the, the foundation piece. There we go. And isn't that sweet? Look how cute that is. You could use that on card all by itself, but you could put it on the front of your bike. Isn't that cute? So she's, or he or she is riding her bike with some tulips. Now we've got a little puppy. How cute is that? Cut of America Ralph's black cardstock. And then um, dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. The lighter brown is um, an American Crafts um, lighter brown cardstock, I believe. 
I was just going for maximum contrast. So you could use whatever you want. This is American Crafts Black cardstock, and then I met, realized I messed up. I realized, uh-oh, I have to put his little face on first. So I take the little ears off. I leave my mistakes in so you see what I do wrong. Okay, so next I'm going to add on his little face, and then I realized, darn it, I wanted to add a little color behind that one eye. I'm just saving myself some work. I could have put some bla a black layer behind this, but this is just how I chose to save myself some work. So I'm going to add on my next layer of the little face. Then I'll add on his ears. That's American Crafts Black Cardstock. Using my reverse tweezers there. There we go. Isn't he cute? And then his little chin is that same lighter brown cardstock. Good. And then I'm gonna add his little nose, which I just cut out of black. Because I wanted him to have a little black nose. But you know, his nose could be whatever color you want, right? Pink, brown, whatever. There we go, just making sure it's straight. Now he's got a little black patch, um, a little eye with a, with a patch around it. So I used dark chocolate cardstock and black. So black for the base layer, so he has a black eye. And then brown for the layer around his eye. And then I'll stick that down on the front of the card as well. Now remember, you could skip this part and just have two little black eyes behind his face, right? That would work. Now this is American Crafts red cardstock. And it's a tongue, and it, and it sort of hugs the side of his little muzzle. There we go. It lines up right along the side of his muzzle. Isn't that cute? Just too cute. And now I'm going to add that to the basket. There we go. And then I'll add the two basket layers on front of him. Now remember, this little, little dog could be used on a card by itself without the bike if you wanted, right? He could look like he's sitting in a little dog bed, which would be super cute. Okay, and now I'm adding my layers on, the same card, card stocks I used before, Nina Desert Storm and that G. Mintindolo wood grain. But like I said, any darker color craft would work. You know, or you could make these, these whatever colors you wanted. I just wanted to do craft. Made it look like kind of like a wicker basket. And now I'm going to pop on his little paws, which is that dark chocolate cardstock again from Paper Tray Ink. And isn't he the cutest little fella? I just think he's adorable. And now he could be on the front of your bike again. Look how cute that is. Okay, next there's a bunny. Of course there's a bunny, right? Easter's around the corner. But also, let's be honest, Michelle Creswell, one of the owners of um, Jada Blossom, is bunny obsessed she loves bunnies so there's going to be a bunny there we go so i'm going to i'm adding just some black marker behind the eyes you could have cut the face out again with the um there's little little eye dots you can cut out and glue them in if you want i just thought that was too much work for me so i just dotted some black behind it you could have also put a sliver of black behind the eyes that would have worked as well. So I used two different grays from American Crafts and I'm just lining up all the little pieces. Isn't he cute? He's a little floppy-eared bunny. Now the nose is cut out of Doodlebug's dot stripe, but let's be honest, it's so small. I just, it was, a, it was a scrap on my desk. You could use any pink, right? You could use white paper and color it in with a marker if you wanted. Now this is an R21 marker and I'm going to add some cheeks because of course, a bunny has cheeks, right? And then I'll add a few little freckles with my Secure White Jelly Roll pen and a number 10, because of course, how cute is that? And now I'm going to assemble the little basket again, same two colors that I used before. But like I said, you could cut these out of anything you want. <clears throat> Sorry. Voice is cutting out. There we go. So out of all the different assembly videos. I think this one's going to help the most because there are a lot of pieces in this set. Um, for me, I found it easiest to just kind of lay out what goes with what and cut them together. It's just that was the easiest for me. 
And there we go. Isn't that a cute little bunny? And remember that bunny could be, you know, in a scene just in the basket, or he can be right in front of the bike going on a ride too. Isn't that cute? And then we need to add his little paws, cut out of that same American Crafts cardstock using that Nouveau glue again, and there's the bunny. Okay, and then because I am cat driven, and so is Candace. Well, she likes dogs and cats too, but you know, let's be honest. We like the kitty cats, Michelle not so much, but you know, she has her bunny, right? <laughs> okay, so these are two colors of like, one's kind of a rust and one's like an orange. And I had to make an orange cat because I have a cat named Sammy who's orange and he's a little sweetheart. So that's what this is. So I cut the back of the body out with the darker rust and then the, um, you know, little um, accents in the lighter orange. Now the little ears were cut out of doodlebugs, dot stripe and pink again. But like I said, it was a scrap on my desk. Use any pink. Then I'm going to give it a little pink nose. That's where your embellishment wand comes in. Handy because it's so tiny. You saw that the little tip, there's a little tip of the tail that you cut in the lighter color, which I did. Now he's got little paws to go on the outside of the basket. And remember, this could be on a card by itself. It doesn't have to go with the bike. He can look like he's in his little basket, right? Sam actually has a little basket he likes to sleep in. There we go. So we're just adding that together. And I'm going to give him his two little paws with my embellishment wand again, just because it's hard to hold little pieces. Next, we're going to assemble the eyes. So we've got two white pieces. And that's just paper trank white cardstock. Then two little black pieces, and it has like a little dot in there for the highlight. And then I will assemble that. Isn't that cute? You could even, if you wanted to, cut those out of a color and then have the white little highlight a black pupil. You could do that but I was trying to save myself some steps here because there's a lot of cutting out. There we go. And now he's in his little basket on the front of a bike. Isn't that cute? And let's, we'll get the boy on the bike this time. Why not, right? Isn't he cute? Okay, so now I'm going to be assembling the full critters. Yeah, we have the full critters for the gnomes to hold. So they can either be riding in the baskets or we can assemble them and they could be a full cat on the card. I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Um, this was a great idea that Jada Blossom had. So now I'm going to add, we're using the exact same colors that I used on the other characters, but we're assembling him in total, or her, whatever this cat is, in total, right? So I'm just adding on all the little pieces. I already did the eyes because, you know, they're finicky. So I'm just going to get them on my card with some Nouveau glue and just trying to straighten them out how they're supposed to look. And I'll pop them on. Now remember, you could skip the eyes and use little black dots if you wanted, right? So I'll add the little lighter color tip of the tail. Isn't that cute? So cute. And now I'm going to add on the feet. I cut the feet out of a pink for the background and then the rust for the front layer, just so it's got a little bit of a toe bean there. Um, there we go. And then I will pop up the paws. Isn't that cute? I just think it's adorable. And I'll add his little paws in. And he is a super cute little guy. And look at that. The gnome can hold him. He's holding his little kitty cat. Because, of course, we want our gnomes holding all the things, right? Okay, so next we got the little puppy. And we started with the first layer. Remember, this is um, mostly covered. 
and I've got, so I've got the dark brown and I'm going with the light brown. I've got black for the tail, black for the ears. And I'm going to pop up his little feet that are dark brown again. There we go. And I'm going to do the same little trick with the, with the little eyes just to save me a step. Of course, I have a hard time finding them. There we go. And then I will add my little face layer on top. Isn't he cute? I just think he's adorable. Add his little chin. There we go. So he's got a little muzzle. Add his little nose on, with, which is black. Then I will, oops, just got to make sure it's in the right spot. Add his little ears on. That is black American Crafts cardstock for the ears. I just think that the, you know, contrast is your friend with these little critters. Otherwise, if you cut it all out of the same color, I think you'd have to do some inking just to make it stand, like make the edges stand out so, you know, it doesn't look like one whole piece, if you know what I mean. There we go. And then I'm going to do his little eye, that little black or the little black spotted eye. I guess it's a brown spotted eye, right? Brown spot around a black eye. And I'm going to add his little spot on. But remember, we could skip this. You don't have to have that on there. But it's so cute, right? I'm going to give him his little paws, cut out of that brown cardstock again. Isn't that sweet? I just think he's adorable. Look how cute he is. And then I'll add a little, you know, a little uh, pink toe beans on his feet or a little, a little pad. Just because, remember, I used that Amer or Doodlebug's dot stripe in the pink because it was sitting on my desk. You could use whatever you like. So there's the little girl holding her little puppy. Isn't that cute? So lastly, we've got the little bunny to put together. Cut it of two colors of American Crafts. Gray cardstock. You can make this bunny whatever color you want. So I cut the base out of the um, gray. And then I will use, I'm using a little piece of black behind the bunny's eyes this time. And I'm going to add the darker gray for the bunny ears using my Studio Katia embellishment wand. There are a lot of companies that make a wand like this. So, you know, whatever works for you is good. And then I'm going to add his little face on. So I've got a sweet little bunny. And then we'll give him a little, and of course my glue bottle gets a little, get a little bit clogged up. So we'll add his little face on here. And of course it's still clogged up. There's a fine line between not enough glue and too much glue. Is, am I right? <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I don't want it glopping out, but at the same time it needs to be enough that it's not going to fall apart. And of course now I've got too much glue. Because this is, this is what happens to me. So I'm going to add a little nose on next which is that same pink scrap that I've been cutting from that's sitting beside me. There we go. And I'm going to give him some pink cheeks because, of course, a bunny has pink cheeks, right? Now his little feet are cut out of pink for the background, that same dot stripe, and then dark gray for the top layer. Now what I did was I cut the little, there's a little toe bean die set. It's tiny, and I lined it up and cut it out of the gray. And then I'm adding it on the pink layer. So it has little toe beans. Um, you could leave this part out if you wanted to. It is a little bit fussy, I'll admit, but it's super cute when you do it. You, you know, tape is your friend in this case to make sure it all stays on when you're die cutting. There we go. And we got our next layer. Now you could have obviously cut the pink out and then added the toe beans. I just found the pieces were so small that that was a lot of work. So I decided to do it this way. So now I'm adding on his little feet. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that bunny is. It's just adorable. And I'm going to add his little hands last or his little paw hands. And once that's on, isn't that the cutest little thing? So cute. He's adorable. And I'm going to add on some little 
freckles, because of course he's got some freckles, right? And there he is. And now the little girl can be holding her bunny for Easter or just her little pet bunny, right? Oops. I'm just sort of showing you where things go. And there you go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. Get the Gotta Have It Now that's available till Wednesday, remember? And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And come back and watch another soon. Bye, everybody.